demonstrating the alternating square knot pattern here. So if you're unsure um, how to do a square knot, I'll link the tutorial for our square knot below. So I've started with a row of four square knots and now I'm going to go into the next row for my alternating square knots. I'm going to drop two cords from either side and then I'm going to do a full row of square knots. So I pick up the first four cords in all of these cords here and I'm going to do square knot. And then I move along to the next four chords and so make sure that they're all sitting in order. So I move along to the next four chords and drop all of those. So I do another square knot. And then I drop those and move along to the last four chords and do another square knot. And then to continue with this pattern, we bring these two chords from either side back down and we do another complete row with all of these chords, another complete row of square knots. So again, the first four knots in the row, um, working from the left side here, first square knot those, take the next four chords. So we're going to have four square knots in this row again, just like our first row. The next four chords. completes that row and you can continue this pattern down as often as as far as you'd like so if you wanted to do another row you would then drop these two chords on either side again and do another row of square knots and as I said you can go down as far as you like if you want to break it up uh, change it up a little bit you can actually space it out so on the next row I'm actually going to drop down a little way and do some square knots down here and I'll show you the difference. So this is exactly the same pattern but instead of having them all close together I'm just leaving a bit of a gap there. these back down and I'm going to leave the same distance on the next row. Roughly, roughly the same distance. So as you can see, this is exactly the same pattern of alternating square knots at the top and at this bottom section, but these ones are directly underneath each other, each row, and this row, these ones, we've spaced the rows out a little bit. So you can see the exact same knot and pattern can create two totally different looks. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this helpful, be sure to check out my other tutorials and like and subscribe. Cheers!